Okay, this is the version 2. This is my favourite as a home base. I don't need to use anything else. Uh, we'll just scroll off. Turn away from here. It's the same, works as the same as the last one. Back to AM. Tune. Now, before we go and like try to get a contact, I must say this wire is literally two random wires, not even five meters high. It's about four meters off the floor across the garden, just on a makeshift. The counter poise is about 20 feet. Um, I would say the, the uh, antenna itself, the hot part, is about um, 18 meters, something like that. So we'll see how we'll get on. Completely mismatched antenna. But it's tuned at the unit instead of like the coax. Right, let's see. It's SWR still down. Um, change the frequency at uh, more. Let's see. Bear in mind, this is just two bits of scrap wire and it's tuned. Um. Yeah, I copy that. I copy that. Yeah. Uh, S9 signal on two random wires, completely out of tune and only four meters high at the most. Mike One, a Delta Lima Sierra. Oh, we didn't get them. But you can see two scrap wires, so that antenna isn't, I mean, that uh, tumor isn't as bad as what people think they are. I love this version. Uh, somebody on my webpage, UK Amateur Radio Group, uh, bought one. The CM, I hope he's as happy as what I am. Uh, right, we'll try. We'll try a bit of QR. I've got a bit of QRF there, a bit of family. <laughs> it is a son after all. Right, um, we'll uh, change the bands. I have very little faith in uh, getting below 20. We'll have a go. No, we should tune it because it's near 20 meters. There we go. So it's tuned to an 18 meter wire. Practically on nil there. I don't think I'll be anyone around on 80 meters this time of day. We'll not bother. Uh, band. We'll go up from 20 to see what the crack is. There's uh, 17 meters. Tune. Perfect tune. He's saying there's no propagation on 70, he's, he's giving me a 7s there. He wants long DX. Right, band. We'll have a look on 21 meters. Uh, 20. <laughs> 15. Tune. Uh, what's that? Uh, 1.6. Workable. I don't think there'll be anything on there anyway, but I'll we'll change it. Quick tune, see. Yes, I burnt my finger for the viewers. 
I bumped my thing on the barbecue uh, last week and it's still pretty bad. And it's still to sort of touch. Yeah. No, I think we'll have a look on 10. 10 should be wide open now. I mean, there's another way you can tune it just by putting it on your throat and going, oh. I don't, I don't like doing it that way. I prefer to use um, the carry off. Yeah. It's just better. I'm gonna have a tune around, see if there's anything wrong. But I'm gonna build a doublet next week. And I'm gonna attach it to the binding post. I'll I'll give you a look in the back. It's just two random wires on the uh, positive and negative. There's a power connector connected to my battery box and so is the radio. Uh, basically all you need for portable you know you could use this QRP or on SOTA or any portable way but it's also a good uh, it's a good I'll just put that back in. Right. it's a good um, like home base I prefer other than that it's just hasn't got a power battery but again you can use your power bank with a 12 volt up converter but honestly I would just get the other ones if that's what you're wanting but for home base this is definitely the best it does have a PL plug as well so I mean I think that's about it on there got it uh, tune again It's now a ten died. Not a worry, but you get the gist. It works. That better the con uh, design of the antenna. Obviously, the better it works. I'm just showing you it working on, on, on a really bad design. So thanks for watching. As always, uh, give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Uh, M1 DLS. Bye bye.